Hello and welcome. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a bit windy outside, so I got my microphone. don't know if it's going to help much, but I am putting together my own movie shelves. It's something uh, that I've been wanting to do for my shelves is get something new for some time now. For a while, I was just going to buy something. You know, shelf, you got to build yourself. Uh, but that was like $300 for something I was wanting to do, and I didn't want to spend $300 on a shelf. So instead, I thought about maybe building my own bookshelf, but then I was like, well, I still don't want to put that much work into it. Um, I'm not that motivated and skilled. So I decided let's do the floating shelf idea. So I have uh, all the materials that I need for it. I picked them all up. I got some boards uh, that I'm currently sanding down, uh, and then I got some stain and some brackets and stuff as well. So I just wanted to show you kind of what all I got and then I'll kind of walk you through my process so starting things off I got these brackets here I got these on Amazon they came with some shelves too but they're super cheap I wanted them specifically for this bracket um, piece because I can put it on the wall I can rest the board on top of it here and then this will double as a bookend for me so that's gonna be super multifunctional in that I won't have to have bookends on my shelves to help hold the movies up so that's gonna be really nice and then you know I got the screws to put those in there as well and then these small little brackets just to brace the extra weight inside I got my polycrylic to put on after the stain is complete and then I have my stain here as well. I'm going to go with a true black color. I want these to be pretty much black, but not entirely black. So this is all the stuff that I have as well as the boards. I'll give you a quick look at those as well. So here's what I got for the boards. They are six inches wide by one inch tall. And so I'm going to do eight six foot shelves. These are the ones I've already sanded and these are the ones I have left to sand here so I'm gonna get working on finishing that and then uh, we'll move on to the next step all right so now I'm just dusting these off to get all of the sawdust off from the sanding you know the goal of this was to make it pretty easy obviously it's still a project in itself but I want it to be something within my skill set and in a way just to kind of hone those skills a little bit more so it's very customizable obviously i wanted to do six foot length boards that's going to give me uh by the math that i've done about 140 movies per shelf and with eight of these i'm looking at about 1150 movies that'll be able to go on the whole thing now I don't think I went over the price for any of this stuff that I got. These boards were like $6.50 each at Lowe's. So you're looking at about 50 bucks or so for uh, lumber costs. I got these gloves for staining for a couple bucks at Walmart. These rags that I'll use for staining, uh, I think they were six or $7 for a 12 pack. This stain was $14, I think, and the polyurethane, actually this might've been 25. The polyurethane was 15. And so in the end, I'm going to be looking at maybe 150, 160 bucks for all the material, uh, you know, brackets and screws and all that kind of stuff included. Let's go ahead and get this stain opened up and we'll get started. so far I like how that's coming out it's been about five minutes or so since it took me to do that so I'm gonna go ahead wipe these off and we'll see how it looks so far all right so that's the first side wiped down honestly that's like almost exactly what I'm looking for. I might end up doing a second coat tomorrow morning or something after this has time to cure and dry. Uh, I'll see what it does overnight as it settles and stuff, but that's really close to what I'm looking for. All right, good morning for me. Good, whatever time of day it is for you. I've come back out to check on the first coat of everything. It looks really good. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put some polyurethane on this because that's really nice and I'm, I almost don't want to make it too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and get the polyurethane coat on this, at least for one side. 
um, and then maybe this afternoon come back out and do the other side once it's dried some. So let's get started on that. All right, so we're done with the polyurethane. I barely had enough. This corner here doesn't even have much on it as far as the second coat goes, but uh, I probably should have gotten the bigger can, but I didn't think it through when I got it. Um, but I had just enough to do both sides, two coats on everything. So you can see it's still drying now, but I'm really happy with it so far. I can't wait for these to be dry. I got to wait about 24 hours for that. Um, and then to cure and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll get the brackets up in the room. I'll get the old shelves out and then get these things up by this weekend, hopefully. All right, today is install day. So we're gonna get these shelves moved over to another side of the room. I'm gonna start getting the mounting hardware up with the brackets and stuff. I brought my shelves down, they look great. And we'll get these things installed. did it all eight shelves um, originally I was gonna do 10 inches on the top between the ceiling and the top shelf and then eight inches all the way down I ended up changing my mind for the bottom and going with nine inches uh, between the shelf above it and the bottom one because I want to be able to fit my DVDs on there and rather than put them up top I'm just gonna put them down on the bottom so all the in-between shelves are eight inches and then the tops 10 bottom is what did I say nine inches so i'm gonna go ahead and get these loaded up and then that'll be it and i'm loved love how this came out it's so good all these brackets worked great i got my brackets in the middle to hold the extra weight all that kind of stuff super excited about this so let's get these loaded up <music>
this is most of my Blu-rays. I got my DVDs left, the movies I've not seen, my Christmas movies and my TV shows. Obviously this does not look very full, but that's kind of the idea as I was running out of space with the shelves I had. So I need something that's gonna set me up for a long time so I don't have to worry about space on these shelves for a long, long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make some tweaks to this. I divide my stuff up by genre and then alphabetically in each genre. So I'm gonna make it look a little nicer and then we'll go from there. All right, so here we go. It's the next day. I ended up reworking a lot of stuff on the shelf yesterday. Didn't have time to get a video on it. So I got it all here. I'll give you guys a closer look at kind of the layout I went with. So I ended up taking everything off the top shelf and just doing like some box sets and figures and some movie memorabilia up there. I thought that looked a little nicer than movies right up to the ceiling. Obviously, if I ever get my collection to that point, I will put movies up there. But for now, I did that. Then you got all of my science fiction fantasy movies through to there with some box sets on display. I got my Batman from the limited Walmart edition of the Blu-ray there. And then horror movies with Jaws on display. And then we got all my action movies. I displayed my Dragons Forever Jackie Chan movie. Uh, the Fast and Furious, I thought I'd lay it out a little differently since that's so many in my collection. Uh, some John Wick stuff on display here and then the rest of my action movies. On this middle shelf here, I went with a little bit of Star Wars on the left and some more Lord of the Rings on the right. So I thought that'd be cool. And there's a gap in the middle because I think that's about where my head's gonna be when I film my videos and stuff. So that'd be nice to have stuff on either side. Then you got my comedies and dramas, and then Christmas movies, animated movies, and my DVDs down there with Pink Panther and Hot Wheels on display and my Wonder Woman popcorn bucket. So overall, really happy with how this came out. I think this looks so much better than when I first just slapped everything up there on the shelf. Really like how it's coming together. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my TV shows. So I, this stuff that's here is gonna have to be on display because I'm gonna switch it with one of the shelves I was using for movies to hold more. So I'll figure that out and you'll get a better look at that when I do my updated uh, collection video soon. So thanks for coming along on this journey as I went through all of my design and building of all these shelves and stuff. I'm really happy with them. If you have any questions, on what I did, the materials I got, that kind of thing. Let me know in the comments, message me on Instagram. I'll be happy to let you know. Like I said, I think once or twice in this video, all this for like 150 bucks or so, and then this just the few days of work that I had to put into it. So overall, thrilled with it, really happy to kind of have something unique, something to be proud of to display my movies. So thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.